Written, directed, produced by, and starring insurance salesman Harold P. Warren, this criminally incompetent exercise in horror saw limited release in November of 1966, but actual box office figures are unknown, if they ever materialized at all. After an embarrassing premiere, the movie wallowed in obscurity until gaining cult-like infamy when it was featured on a 1993 episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Literally made on a bet between friends, this thankfully short 74-minute feature was independently financed on a budget of 19000 and frankly, I can't believe anyone even paid to have the celluloid developed. The nonsensical and infuriatingly stupid plot revolves around a vacationing family that inadvertently stumbles upon a mysterious polygamous pagan cult in the middle of the desert, where they're greeted by Torgo, a bizarre doorman servant played by John Reynolds. The awkward and pervy character's incessant twitching and manic behavior was reportedly a result of Reynolds using LSD while filming. His drugged out and creepy acting is certainly the most memorable aspect of this train wreck, which will either have you laughing unintentionally or falling asleep from boredom. The misguided but dedicated vision of Warren was filmed entirely handheld, almost exclusively with poorly framed wide shots, sans diegetic audio, and backed by music so distracting it sounds worse than a low-rent porno. All of the actors' voices were dubbed, rather poorly in post-production, by only three people, resulting in confusing conversations where characters basically are talking to themselves, noticeably out of sync as well. Oh, Mike, I'm scared. He has the meanest look. That dog. I'd hate to run up on them in the dark, or even in the light for that matter. That must be your master. Where did you say he was? He has left this world. But he is with us always. No matter where we go, he is with us. Beginning with unnecessarily long establishing shots and driving footage intended to have opening credits over them, this unrated picture is intrinsically fascinating in how truly inept it is in every phase of filmmaking. Ironically, this unbearably bad movie should be applauded, as it inherently forces you to value the meaning of life, and why you're wasting it on a piece of junk like this. Technically speaking, you couldn't produce a worse project if you rubbed excrement on the lens and ran belching audio for 80 minutes which now that I think of it is actually the plot of Disaster Movie. The extremely unrealistic and weird dialogue is astonishingly abysmal, delivered by cringeworthy performances, separated by long awkward pauses, foolish jump cuts, continuity errors, and blocking decisions that'll make your head spin. From the pointless non order developments like an unrelated couple repeatedly featured making out in their car, to a hilarious scene where Torgo is seemingly massaged to death, the execution is indescribably awful, containing only enough material to last maybe five minutes if it wasn't so horridly paced. In the long and storied history of cinema, never before or since has a movie been so insufferable, completely devoid of anything interesting, except for an unintentional quaintness that makes it a curiosity piece. Manos, The Hands of Fate, the worst movie ever made. At least it's all uphill from here, though. Now let's see what you had to say in the YouTube comments. Our scores for Manos, The Hands of Fate, a double one. A full two-thirds of everyone who voted ranked this picture a two or lower, as it was just plain difficult to watch. You thought it was garbage. Now technically, an all-zero score shouldn't be possible, but for Manos, I'm willing to make an exception. Perhaps there's a more terrible film out there, but I haven't seen it. I thought this film was garbage, the absolute worst.